Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you an interesting vehicle we have here on the lot. It's a 2011 Ford F-250 in red. Now, it's a XLT, but it has a lot of upgrades. So, um, as you can see, it's not the normal height. And I do actually have a cheat sheet here that lists some of the features that it has. It has an 8-inch Pro Comp lift. 20 by 12 fuel maverick chrome one-piece rims with 38 20 inch nitto mud grapplers which I like that name this kind of gives you a good mental image of grappling mud or something that's pretty neat it does have a H&S mini max tuner a full 5 inch pro flow a 5 inch flow pro exhaust which you can see here and I'm not an expert on diesel so uh, some of the stuff I had to get a list up for because I'm not really familiar with it has an upgraded Pioneer 5600 radio uh, upgraded Ford emblem and a backup camera so I'm going to try to go as much detail as possible that I'm capable of anyway but before I go too much further I want to go ahead and start it up so you can hear the engine And it is pretty tall. It does have the upgraded. Originally, this truck came with cloth seats, and they put cat skin uh, leather seats in the whole thing. So, it's pretty cool. Pretty huge truck, so I have to kind of get a, get far away from it. It looks like it has an aluminum drive shaft. It does have backup sensors and a backup camera. Now the backup camera is not factory and it's located right here. I think that's in a, with the uh, Pioneer radio. You have the trailer hitch with the four and seven way plugs. Spray and bed liner, you have a cargo management system here. You also have the tailgate step. Comes out like that got your handle here which I can't really do it one-handed but this lifts up and I'm able you're able to step up in there a little bit easier which this is a little bit higher so your first step is eight inches higher than what it would normally be but it's better than trying to get up in the tailgate without it do have your DEF fluid fill cap here next to your fuel cap which is convenient here's the inside of the back see so you have a pocket there and real nice leather seats catskin does a really good job with their leather Under here we have a amplifier for the sound system, which is, I'm, I'm assuming sounds pretty good. Hadn't checked that out. 
this folds down you got some cup holders and stuff there here's the inside of the front door you have a nice big speaker there your controls there some pockets there and there nice big step which I'm gonna need to use to get in get a power adjustment as far as that goes on the bottom manual adjustment there it does have a side airbag apparently so I'm gonna go ahead and use a step and the handle and hop in and I will show you the engine in a few minutes just wanted to go over some stuff in here you have automatic headlights there's your upgraded pro what was the exact term here H&S Minimax tuner <laughs> Sorry for the cheat sheet, but all right. And the, the, check out this: the uh, side mirrors. With this button here, you can scroll them in and out. They go up pretty far. I guess that's the trailer tow mirrors. Here's your gauges. And this truck has about a little over 36,000 miles on it. Not too bad. You got controls here for your menu. You can scroll through there. And you have close the vents. The air conditioner doesn't interfere too much. You have your controls for your your volume on your radio. And I'm not familiar with this. It does have Bluetooth. You have a little speak, a little microphone here for your Bluetooth. But it is a touch screen. Just I'm gonna change to another station. No, I'm maybe. putting the pillows too. Not really getting all clear radio stations right now, but. Just want to give you an idea of how this radio works because I'm not really familiar with this particular one. There's your four wheel drive controls, trailer brake controls. You do have some auxiliary switches and um, your climate controls there. Touch screen radio. It does have a USB input with Microsoft Sync. And I haven't tried it, but I'm, I'm assuming that, that that is compatible with the, the aftermarket radio cup holders are here pulled out got like a little tiny pocket there there's your above compartment which is pretty small for a truck this size got like a like a something you can set a clipboard down or something there on the hood on the on the dash you got lights in the visors place to put two pairs of sunglasses you got some tap lights there this is your your back your sliding back glass power supply pretty interesting truck let's go ahead and look under the hood Again, this is a. I'm gonna try to hold the camera. I'm gonna try to hold the camera up real high so you can look. Man, look at the size of that radiator. smooth running engine
yeah there you have it if you have any questions or anything just uh, put them in the comments or send me an email my email address will be in the, in the description in the low bar I'll see you next time